we've given the Dal- Taliban some, uh, we, we've not made it easy for ourselves. We've given them quite a bit of assistance uh, unintentionally by handing them over some of the best military equipment in the entire world. Yeah, we gave them little goodie bags with <laughs> Blackhawks and Black tanks Hawks. and armored vehicles. It's great. It's really great. But the Al Arabia News in Saudi Arabia reported that there were some images going around social media of U.S. armored military vehicles um, on their way to Iran. Now, I think we have a photo of this. This is an unconfirmed report right now, but it is aligning with kind of this greater um, topic that we've been discussing on this show and throughout the news where we're seeing the Taliban um, use our military equipment and either give it to our adversaries or use it for their own um, per, for their own use. Now, this kind of goes into a bigger thing about how um, Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North, he's a retired uh, military veteran, he told Breitbart the other day on a radio program that the Taliban is now going to be in a pretty lucrative Um, business plan to sell our military equipment that was left behind um, to China and Russia so they could, quote, reverse engineer it. (laughs) Now, if anyone's wondering why this happened, it was because we didn't do two things. We didn't um, equip the Afghan um, military, the one that we were allied with, um, to to properly protect our equipment. Yeah. Now, the second thing that we didn't do is after we realized, hey, we didn't properly protect it, we didn't do airstrikes. We didn't destroy the equipment. So basically, we just left it there. And they'll say, oh, some of this stuff is decommissioned, but a lot of it isn't. And a lot of it could probably be repaired um, and be put back into use. So what we're seeing now is our equipment being sold and given to our enemies. Um, because the Taliban now has it. Now, at the very least, we can talk about confirmed, unconfirmed reports of these things, but what we know at the bare minimum is that the Taliban now has access to precious military equipment and, by extension, U.S. military secrets. Because when we talk about certain things with our technology, a lot of that is secret information. Mm -hmm. A lot of that is things that are really what make the United States military the most powerful military in the world. And because now that we, they now have these pieces of information, essentially, our adversaries can now use that against mm-hmm. us. Yeah. Now, what I first want to ask you guys is, what do you think the concern here is? What's the national security risk, whether it's involving Iran, the Taliban, China, Russia? What do you think is going to happen, if anything? Well, Russia and China, I mean, that's, that's the biggest threat right there. They're trying to further... <laughs> develop their military strength as much as possible right now and having access to all that technology i mean it's it's everything they could have asked for mm-hmm. and then in addition to that just the fact that the taliban has all of that it, the amount of equipment they have makes them like it's one of the most powerful like like um stashes of military weaponry in mm-hmm. the world like it's incredible how much we left behind so those three things to me, those, those are all really imminent things. 